want to rap or, or sing or whatever, don't become a part of the game. Um, you know what? This if you want to rap or sing, don't get involved in the industry. There's a song called The Industry that captures this sentiment perfectly. This is about the hidden truths behind the glitz and glam of the music scene, and you need to be aware of what goes on behind the curtain. I've seen so many people think it's cool to be in the industry, but trust me, it's anything but. Me and my homies have never been in a room together doing anything suspect. We're family men trying to get our paper, and that's what it's all about. This idea that you need to compromise yourself to fit in is a problem. Some people think they're doing something fly when they're not. The truth is, you have to respect each other, and we don't pull any shady moves. I had to speak up because many are getting caught up in this weird energy. When I see artists in compromising situations, I just shake my head. People need to remember that everything done in the dark will come to light. It's not even about exposing others, they're doing it to themselves every day. Take Jay-Z, for instance. Allegations keep coming out about him, and it's time to dig into how DMX and Pimp C sounded the alarm years ago. There's this question that lingers. Did Jay-Z have a hand in the deaths of fellow artists? DMX had beef with Jay-Z and often called him out publicly. DMX highlighted how the industry changed when Jay took over as president of Def Jam, with many artists falling off or worse when they didn't play by his rules. After DMX's passing, Jay-Z's associate made some disrespectful comments at his funeral, raising eyebrows about how Jay really felt about him. Pimp C's death also raises questions. Many believe his passing wasn't as natural as it appeared. Before he died, Pimp C warned others about the industry's darker side and mentioned Jay-Z. He talked about the strings being pulled behind the scenes, trying to silence anyone who challenged the status quo. Did DMX and Pimp C know too much about Jay-Z and the industry? It seems they were trying to warn us, but those who speak out often pay a heavy price. Every few years, we hear speculation about Jay-Z's involvement in the shady dealings of the music industry. With DMX and Pimp C's tragic ends, fans can't help but wonder if they knew something the rest of us didn't. DMX had his reservations about Jay-Z, which came to light after Jay took over Def Jam. DMX was the one who kept the label afloat with five back-to-back -back number one albums from 1998 to 2003. But things soured when Jay came into power. Allegedly, Jay tried to sabotage DMX's sixth album, Year of the Dog. Fans have long believed that Jay saw DMX as competition and tried to keep him from shining. DMX once said Jay switched up on him after taking over Def Jam. It said that Jay initially wanted to help DMX, but things changed when he started worrying about competition. This is when DMX decided to leave Def Jam altogether. He saw through the facade and wanted nothing to do with the industry's control. DMX wasn't shy about calling out the industry's shady tactics. In his song, The Industry, he rapped about how if you don't have a strong mind, the industry will break you. He warned that the vultures in the industry wanted new artists to sell their souls. He emphasized that the industry doesn't care about you, but it can't profit without you. MX wasn't the only one who accused Jay-Z of playing dirty. Dame Dash, co-founder of Rockefeller, claimed Jay betrayed him to get close to influential people in the industry. This situation created a rift between them. Dash called out how Jay's actions pushed artists against each other. Dame and Jay's relationship deteriorated as Jay got more involved with powerful executives like Liar Cohen. Many labeled Cohen a culture vulture due to his exploitative practices, including locking artists into unfavorable contracts. Dash alleged that Cohen had a role in driving a wedge between him and Jay. In a 2018 interview, Cohen discussed the substance abuse crisis in the industry, expressing sadness over DMX's struggles. However, when pressed on why he continued to promote artists with similar issues, he shrugged it off, claiming it was just business. He said he had a company to run, showcasing a blatant disregard for the consequences of their actions on artists' lives.
When DMX passed away, Cohen made disrespectful remarks at the funeral, stating that X's death was no surprise, given his lifestyle. This lack of respect only solidified why DMX never trusted Jay-Z. Pimp C also had serious reservations about Jay. Their collaboration on Big Pimpin' was a major hit, but behind the scenes, there was tension. Pimp wasn't quick to jump on tracks for clout. His loyalty to Tupac impacted his views on Jay, who had a past beef with Pac. There were serious discussions behind the scenes about how to handle the collaboration. Pimp C was known for his strong values and wasn't about to compromise. He even suggested that the million-dollar offer for the collaboration should go to Tupac's mom instead. Pimp C wasn't about that life and wasn't afraid to call out those who didn't uphold the same standards. When Pimp finally agreed to collaborate, he never saw Jay as a friend. He saw it as business, emphasizing that he didn't consider Big Pimpin a special track. The relationship was transactional rather than built on respect or friendship. The situation only gets more complicated when you consider Jaguar Wright, Jay-Z's former background singer. She accused him of sabotaging careers and being involved in suspicious circumstances surrounding deaths. According to her, Jay-Z was behind the downfall of several artists. There's a theory floating around about Pimp C's tragic death in 2007. He was found unresponsive in his hotel room, and while the official report claimed it was an accident due to drug use, many fans suspect foul play. Eyewitness accounts from people close to him suggested that something wasn't right in the hotel room. Reports mentioned that the room looked chaotic with blood present. The circumstances around his death seemed too strange to be a simple overdose. Fans are connecting dots and questioning how many more deaths in the industry are suspicious, especially involving artists close to Jay-Z and Diddy. From Big L to Aaliyah, the list of artists who met untimely ends is growing. The darker truths behind the music industry are becoming more evident as fans dive deeper into these stories. So, what do you think? Do you believe Jay-Z has some sort of dark history that's kept him at the top while others have fallen? Or is this just another conspiracy theory? The lines between reality and speculation are blurring in the world of music and it's essential to consider what's being said. Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep this conversation going. If you want to rap or sing, don't get involved in the industry. There's a song called The Industry that captures this sentiment perfectly. This is about the hidden truths behind the glitz and glam of the music scene, and you need to be aware of what goes on behind the curtain. I've seen so many people think it's cool to be in the industry, but trust me, it's anything but. Me and my homies have never been in a room together doing anything suspect. We're family men trying to get our paper, and that's what it's all about. This idea that you need to compromise yourself to fit in is a problem. Some people think they're doing something fly when they're not. The truth is, you have to respect each other, and we don't pull any shady moves.